The number one goal for every team here, the Atlanta Falcons and 31 others, is how do we make our roster better? You've talked about how you're going to play for 60 minutes, which they've done the last two seasons. That framework's in place. The culture, if you will, is in place. You've added some people to that, and now you're going to get add some more tonight. It's just about improving your total team. Now, you ideally, you want to go into each draft and have the same mindset, and you want to draft good players with good skill sets and make sure you're not reaching for needs, make sure you're staying disciplined to the board. We want to get an impact player regardless of what position it's, it's in at that spot or in the first round so we can move up, we can move down, we'll see. Flexibility is probably the best way to put it where you're not re overreaching out of a need. So we feel really good about where we're at heading into Thursday night. I'm hearing people say, hey, I know what the Falcons are going to do tonight. They're lying. Nobody really knows. We have a lot of options. Well, knowing the money that the Falcons had, it was going to be a matter of were they going to lump sum it on one or two players or were they going to do it like they eventually did? And that's really spread it out to some areas. You know, you, you get a Jesse Bates. You know, you give him kind of the bigger deal, but then you say stuff for David Anyamata and you really address some needs, but you're not blowing your, your salary cap space on two or three players. When you added so many good players to the team that you don't feel desperate at any spot and yet you can still add to every spot there's not one position where we would say we can't add a player there well we're not throwing darts you know we've got a strategic plan and like i said we'd, we'd love to get everybody we target we understand it's not the way but there, there's a plan for these guys coming in it's a domino effect right so so wherever you take a player whoever you take then you can decide okay do we want to move back at this next pick? Do we want to move up? We might not make a single trade in this draft, or we might make four. You know, we don't see ourselves as a team that's ever going to just sit on our hands. If we see a player that we want, we want to try to figure out a way to get it. And each pick, whether we're talking about the first pick or the pick in the third round, it's going to affect that next move. I will. I'll talk about it. Falcons. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to pick you right here, man. Hey, let's, let's go. Thank God, man. L listen to me, man. It's, it's not just the player you are. It's the person you are. Everything you bring. Yes, we're about what you're about. And I'm telling you, man, you're going to be yes, a part of something special, okay? Man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Hey, God is good. Let's go do this. Bijan. How you doing, coach? How you doing, bud? I'm doing awesome. How you doing? All right, man. We'll fire it up. Yep, yep. Man, by the way, this thing fell. <laughs> the only thing I got to say is either you or TQ's got to bring some of that Terry Black barbecue back up here. Hey. <laughs> All right. I got you, Coach. I got you. Congrats, okay, yes, John. Fired up. Thanks, Coach. Yep. Thanks. Go Horns. Congratulations, hey. John. We're, man, uh, I appreciate you. Well, we're, we're so darn excited, I can't tell you. I mean, we're just uh, – oh. this is a dream oh, for us. We couldn't be happier that, uh, that you'd be joining the Atlanta Falcons. Yep, yep, I'll, I'll be there soon. I appreciate you. You're going to pick the best player on the board. The best player on the board is going to be B. Sean Robinson! Well, and since your general manager has drafted, ding, best available athlete, ding, best available athlete, there you go. With the eighth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select B. John Robinson. Running back, Texas. The Falcons did it. The Atlanta Falcons had a highly talented, high-character individual from Texas sitting on the draft board who just happens to play running back. Additional value be damned. I am excited to watch this group of players for Atlanta. When you have that guy, you go get him and you put him in your lineup. Yeah, man, I mean, it's, it's such an exciting feeling. You know, it's like I'm speechless, but 
know, I just can't wait to see to see what happens and, and how God blesses me with, with the program. We're really excited um, about tonight. I, I mean, Dijon, we hold him in high regard on the field, off the field. Um, it, we talk about positionless football, the versatility, the impact that he's going to make for us. Uh, we're extremely excited. The versatility part, where he's been effective. I mean, that he did that at Texas at times, but his background playing in the slot, we just feel he's an explosive weapon. He's a home run hitter. This is a it's a good draft. So a lot of other good players on the board at a lot of other positions, and we're excited. We're going to bring in some good players. Matt. Hey, how you doing? Terry Fontenot with the Falcons. Man, I'm pick you right here, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Where are you at right now? I'm back home in Quebec. With my You're family. in Quebec. It's going to be a long flight to get here, man. But look, we're extremely excited. I love it. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. You're going to be part of the formula that's going to take us to the next level. Yes, sir. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> With the 38th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons have selected Matthew Bergeron. So not only added star power in this draft, but we also feel need. They're getting a bigger physical, as you mentioned, road grader, 6'5", 323 pounds. They're getting bigger up front. Zach. Yo, what's up? Terry Funnel with the Falcons. What's going on? You ready to be a Falcon, man? Hell yeah. <laughs> We're going to turn this yeah. right here, man, OK? The Atlanta Falcons select Zach Harrison. You know, we, we clearly value the lines of scrimmage. We know that's where games are won and lost. And to get two players, uh, Matt and Zach, we added size, strength, uh, power up front. And both those guys are wired the right way. They, they're made up of the things that we value. And so, uh, really excited to bring both those players in. New England has made a pick. Atlanta is now in the Clark. How you, how you doing? Good. How you doing, man? Man, great, great. You want to be a Falcon? Man, let's do it. Let's make it happen. We, we love everything you're about. Fit everything we, we preach. And uh, we're just excited for you. Man, I appreciate it, Coach. I can't wait. I absolutely love the Clark Phillips pick. Right. Cornerback out of Utah, but this kid's a playmaker. Playmaker. Instincts, ball skills. Again, a tough competitive player. Played a tough program. Highly productive, which I think is one of the better uh, programs that sustain success. We have a lot of respect for that Utah program, and certainly the way they play defense. And so we loved our interactions with him. This is a guy that we had conviction on across the board, and we were excited that he was there when we picked him. Hello, Stamago. You ready to be a Falcon? Yes, sir, I'm ready. I'm ready All right, man. It. You earned it. Sir, sir. can't wait to be here. And what happens to me with, with Helms is does he contribute on, uh, on defense? Absolutely. All of a sudden, when you start upgrading your talent, that upgrades the special teams as 100%. well. And, and Helms is going to be a core special teams player. We already know he can tackle. He led Alabama in tackling. So we know he can do that. But look what happened to Marquise Williams' group. Javon Gwynn, the first thing I start with is two-time captain. <laughs> I mean, leaders. I mean, it's, leaders. it's, it's right it's, down the board. Man. I mean, it's not even – I mean, it, you talk about the strategy. There is a clear vision of what this staff wanted to do in the draft. Man, from the first pick, eighth overall, to the, the seventh round, that's been the theme. We got smart, tough, highly competitive players. So uh, very excited about the outcome of this draft. We, we kind of said it at the outset. There's a lot of people that work really hard, but it's very exciting to, to be able to wrap up a draft class like this and then get into the free agents. Obviously, they want to bring in you know, a great football player, but you got to be great on the field and off the field. And, you know, you, you want to find dudes that are, you know, willing to do anything for the team. You came here to do a job and you want to do it to the best of your ability. So I think that that's what, what they want in a, in a player. And, you know, I, I hope I can bring that to them. Iron sharpens iron like men sharpen man. We want to be very competitive because it's going to bring out the best in, in the people and the cream really rises in competitive situations. Again, it goes back to the depth and not just the, 
certain positions we've added, but the, the quality of players too. There's going to be a very, very competitive camp. Assuming that you don't have any major injuries, it's going to be a hard roster to make. That's where you want it.